going from game one to this game against Carolina, what's job one been for the offensive line this week? Um, I think this week we've really been focusing a lot on just uh, our conditioning because, uh, you know, it's going to be hot over there. Um, so, you know, we've been putting a really big emphasis on, you know, chasing down the ball after it's thrown, running on and off the field. Just, you know, the small things that are going to make a difference. Yeah, Coach Mark mentioned the condition, I guess it was, in his press conference on, on Monday. Just explain how difficult it is. I mean, especially for a guy that your size, the size of everybody else out there, to, to, to give it like that, you know, 100%. I mean, it's not, it's not as bad as one would think. Um, we do it every single day. So, and like I said, it is the small things that really help the most. So, I think that's, that's what's going to give us our biggest advantage. You also mentioned, too, about wants to see these guys do a better job of getting to the second level mm -hmm. as far as your blocking. How have you been able to, how have you been able to try to, to get that work out this week? Definitely just finishing blocks. Um, that's one of our biggest things is getting up to that second level and, you know, making those key blocks on linebackers and corners and stuff like that so our backs can, you know, get one-on-one -on -one and do what they do. Notice John Thea has been out there working with you guys now. How, how long has that been going on, and what does he kind of bring to the table? Uh, I think he's been here what, right out about a week. Um, and, I mean, he just brings a bunch of knowledge because he knows what's going on. You know, been here, played here, uh, kind of knows how things work. And I think the biggest thing that he's got going for us right now is just his history with all these teams. You know, he knows what everybody does, what their habits are and stuff like that. So I think he's going to be a real big, real big help to us. Is he a student assistant? Do you know what his role is? I have no idea, honestly. What have you seen from the South Carolina front on the film? You know, they like to move. Um, very big and physical front. You know, I can't say anything bad about them. But uh, they're big and physical, and they like to move, and they're quick off the ball. So it should be a good matchup. Was that their tendency last year, or you just seen more movement this year? Do they look like they've gotten a little bigger since last year when they played them? Uh, they've got quite a few returning guys coming back. Um, so, I mean, I think it's going to be a bunch of the same stuff as they did last year. Is this your first this first second go round, I guess, as a starter? Is this, you know, did, did you start against them last year? Mm -hmm. I did not. Okay. So, this is my first time, or time against South Carolina. How are you feeling about that? I feel just as confident as I have on any other game. Um, you know, there's not a doubt in my mind that we're going to be prepared come Saturday. So, we just got to keep believing and keep doing what they ask us to do. What effect does is, 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 uh, the hype have? I mean, I, I know you guys say you take every game the same, but I got to believe there's some variables when you go on the road and you go into a stadium and, and there's all that energy and excitement waiting for you. You know, Coach Smart, we do a great job uh, during the week on away games working crowd noises and stuff like that. You know, we'll crank the speakers up in the indoor as loud as they can get. You know, just so we can get the feel of not being able to hear anything while we're on offense, having to rely on hand signals. You know, having to rely big time on communication. So uh, we worked out, I mean, week in and week out, you know, every single day. So I think we're going to be very well prepared for that.